Hello guys, and today I am doing a house tour in Welcome to Bloxburg, and this hasn't loaded in yet, but since my house, as you can, this is going to sound very bad, but my house is, oh shoot, it is pretty big, so, I mean, I kind of need to split this into two parts or else we're going to end up with a half an hour video and I don't think anyone wants to watch a video for a half and an hour sh half of an hour straight okay we're just going to close that out because we should anyway I'm just going to be showing you my front yard maybe the first two stories in my house in this video because you know that's the easy thing to do so right here where I spawn I have my little cute mailbox it's really not that cute but Whatever. Anyway, so we have a trampoline, a swing set, and this was from my last house that I tore down when I was building this one, so I'm like, why not use it? Can you, wait, you can swing on this? <gasps> I did not know that. Oh, okay, that is great. Let me jump off now. So, and then I have another swing right here, which this is just like a, yeah, just kind of like a tree swing. I don't really know what to call it. Uh, yeah, and then I have my, uh, my cypress trees here, which that is nice. Also, you may be wondering why I have a ton of, like, natural plants, or whatever these are called, the green plants. That is because I had a ton of pretty flowers right here, and all along the fountain I had daisies, but they all died. I don't feel like maintaining them or spinning, even though I do have quite a bit of block bucks. Block bucks? Blocks bucks? How, how do you... Okay, block bucks. Even though I have enough block bucks to spend money on garden sprinklers, I still don't do it. You know why? I save them for my orange farms because I don't really have that much money. And I am currently working on another house, so I kind of need money. And if you'd like to see a tour of that, make sure to like this video because I might do a tour of that one when I finish it. Anyway, that was kind of unnecessary, but we have these noob hedge sculptures, or whatever they call them. And more cypress trees, and over here I just... <laughs> I don't really like to call them my useless vehicles, just the vehicles I don't really use that much. The quad's probably the only vehicle I really use out of all. So, here's my front door, and here's the golf cart. This is the garage. That is not opening. Okay, there it goes. This is, oh geez, I got a lag spike. This is my car. I should probably turn the lights on so you can see. Because, you know, that would be great. And I have like this little glass wall that looks into my house. And yes, this, oh, we're just going to pretend like we walked in through the entryway. So this is my entryway. <laughs> Very kind of small and, uh, let me just... It's kind of like, it's a wide, but very small entryway. Like, there's not much to it. And then right here, we just have the downstairs bathroom, which looks like this. This is actually inspired from my mom's bathroom that she fixed up at our last house. So, that is great. Anyway, moving on. Turn on this light. Yes, I have white couches in my dining room. It's a video game. It is physically impossible to spill on them, so do not criticize me, please. I put a lot of work into the detail over here. Turn that off. Over here, we have the living room, and I need to change the color of this frame because it just doesn't really match. But yes, trees and more trees and what I would call a child hazard because... Yeah, you see what's wrong here. They're right next to the fire. I don't really need to explain that. And we just have this empty space that I thought looked nice. I have a lot of random furniture across my house to fill up empty space, so don't judge. And then there's a dead tree poking into my wall. Isn't that fantastic? But this is, since my room is on the third story of this house, this is basically where I slept when I was building it. So this is kind of one of the many guest rooms I have. And then kitchen, I know the kitchen cabinets and everything is brown, it doesn't match the rest of the house, but, okay there we go, I can hear myself a lot more clearly now. I had like an airpod in and it was kind of blocking how I sounded, so, yes, now I can hear myself better, which doesn't really matter, 
but you get the point. And there is a dirty dish on my counter. That bothers me. I just, I don't know. I didn't really want to change the color of them because I just kind of like the way it was. Maybe I'll like make it a cooler tone brown instead of a warmer kind of, I don't really know much about color. But it just doesn't really match. Maybe I'll change it to like the pine cone color or something. Oh my gosh, these chairs. I just realized this. These chairs don't match. Oh no. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> just not right now because I'm kind of lazy. Oh, there goes my dog. Anyway, here is a punching bag, treadmills, weightlifting bench press things. I don't know what to call these, but whatever. I should probably... Why didn't I think of closing that out before? Because it would give you a lot more room to, you know, see. Anyway, close, turn off. This is my very... Oh, shoot. I don't even know why I started talking before I walked over. This is my very claustrophobic pantry. Well, I don't really think it's claustrophobic, but just look at the mess of... I'll just... Yeah, see? It, I, I can't. It just... Yes. But then that happens, and it bothers me. We're leaving. Um, that is stairs meant to go from the first to the forward story, so we don't really need to walk up there. Let's just walk all the way across the bottom floor again, because... And that's what we are gonna do. Walk up here. And there we go. My phone is vibrating because it's set on a pile of books. So, this is my friend's room. She wanted blue, so I gave her blue. She's obsessed with the Maze Runner, I think you can tell. And she has like a nice view outside. I think it's pretty cool. Let me just get behind the TV. Yeah, that, that's nice. Um, let's close this door. And here is my office, which I love my office. I mean, I am a Slytherin. Why, are, why am I gray? Okay. Anyway, I am a Slytherin. Do not judge, please. Yes, I am very proud to be a Slytherin. Um, I feel like a lot of people I know are like, no, you're more of a Gryffindor because you're kind of loud and reckless. I'm like, okay, yeah. But I know myself better than anyone else does, and I would say I definitely belong here. This is where my heart is. Okay, that was weird. Um, and my vehicle was towed. That's great. Wait, was it? I don't know. I just saw, like, a little warning pop up. And more pictures, more pictures, more pictures. And then we got my Harry Potter and Percy Jackson stuff over here, which... I love, especially the picture with the owl, it's so cute. Anyway, moving on. I don't know, I just searched aesthetic modern quotes for most of my stuff, and that's what came up, so I just thought, why not put it in? Um, my friend, she loves cats, and she wanted a pastel pink, blue, and yellow theme. I didn't really know how to make the wall color, so I just did this. I feel like I could have done better, but she likes her room, so... I'm happy. And she's happy, which is also a good thing. Also, I don't know why I made the floor gray. That's one question I actually have for myself. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's outside. And this is my random furniture area I mentioned before. Come in here. We have a bathroom, the past two bedrooms I showed you. Those two friends do share this bathroom. I'm going to go back into first person because it's probably going to be less of a distraction. I'm really proud of this shower, even though there's like a half wall and water could just leak through onto the floor over here. I mean, I don't know if it would actually reach, but I mean, anything's possible. But yes, that is my built bathroom that no one ever uses because I don't really play this game that much anymore, if I'm being completely honest. Here's my laundry room. I actually like how this turned out. It took so much time to make. I don't know why. I mean, it looks really simple, but yes. Also, there's no specific theme for my house <laughs> because I don't know. It just I just put in what I thought looked nice. So you're seeing a bunch of different stuff happening, and I'm fine with it. But just know, I think my next house is gonna have more of an established theme, so it'll probably be better looking. Now this is another one of my friend's rooms. She likes the ocean, so I put the ocean 
and yes, I have a, why do I have a 10 right there? Like, dude, I could probably fit the entire server just sitting in the chairs and stuff. Okay, what am I doing? Anyway, moving on. This is what I believe you would call a Japanese old bathroom or something. I'm not really sure. I've heard the term somewhere, but I'm just gonna, oh jeez. I need to fix this bathtub. Okay. There, I'm, as I'm going through this, I realize there is a lot of things that I definitely need to fix. I will fix them. Eventually. I am procrastinating because why not? And there's the shower and the toilet and the toilet paper is like super high up, but nobody cares because you know what? No one ever uses this bathroom because my friends and I don't really play anymore. <laughs> I just picked random blue pictures that kind of matched. Wanted teal. This friend wanted like a teal or blue or something look. I don't really remember, but yes, this is what I gave them. And they get a view of my empty garden, which that is wonderful when you're thinking about it because just, oh, why did I do that? Empty garden, amazing. I mean, I really need to plant some stuff in there because I, I have maxed out my gardening skill, and is the only skill I am close to maxing out. So, why would I not have the best looking trees out of everyone in the server? I don't know. I just, I am lazy, and I spend my time doing other things. Anyway, we have books, because this is my personal library, one of my favorite rooms in the house. I have all my posters going up the stairs, and all of my houses or house all the houses of harry potter are all here which okay back to what i was doing and i had a slight interruption so this is my personal library because um i don't know i love reading i love books i don't really read as much anymore because i'm busy with other things now but i want to start reading more and more i am finished a book today which I'm really proud of because it took me like a month but we don't talk about that anyway I am very tired as you can see so I am going to be saying goodbye now and thank you guys for watching if you liked the video make sure to leave a like because you know I'm making a part two soon so that's good and if you don't want to miss any videos make sure to subscribe I yeah <laughs> I don't know what I was doing I will see you guys later. Goodbye.